You get in constant redirects to search marquee on Safari and Google Chrome, intrusive ads with links to fishy websites, and some weird new browser add-ons. Well, these are all common signs of the search marquee virus. And on top of that, this virus leaves your Mac open to plenty of other threats too. But hey, learning how to remove search marquee from Mac is not that difficult. So why don't we get rid of it? What do you say? All right, so there are two ways to go here. The first is by using an antivirus and the second is manual Mac virus removal. And I'm gonna show you both. All right, so let's be honest, getting a Mac antivirus is gonna be the quickest way to remove search marquee. Plus, this also combats other browser hijacking malware. All right, so to get rid of Search Marquee, you're just gonna need to run a full system scan. And for that, I picked Totally V for Mac Antivirus. Now I've checked its ability to catch adware and malware many times before. It's really effective with good detection rates from both AV comparative tests and in my own testing. And on top of that, I happen to have an exclusive Total AV deal in the description if you're looking to get rid of Marquee nice and fast. And save yourself a few bucks, just saying. All right, now, once you've got the app, just run the full scan. Now, it might take some time depending on your system, but once it's done, figuring out how to get rid of Search Marquee on Mac can be accomplished by simply following the antivirus's instructions. But to fully remove Search Marquee from Mac, there is one more thing you're gonna need to do, and that is reset your browser settings. If you use Safari, let's launch it, and in the top menu bar, click Develop. Now, you'll find empty caches in the drop-down menu right here. Click on it, there you go. Now let's just move from the develop to the history tab. And here, select clear history. And here, press clear all history, because we don't want any traces of this damn virus left. And the last step is to go to Safari preferences, and in the settings menu, find privacy. Next, click on manage website data, and select remove all to delete those cookies. All right. Restart Safari and consider your searchmarquee.com removal journey completed. Congratulations. Oh, and looky here. The search marquee removal Mac Google Chrome version is way more straightforward. Open the browser, click on the three dots and navigate to settings. Here underneath the advanced tab, you're gonna find the reset settings. Confirm the reset and you're done. Boom. But hey, let's say you wanna do the work manually because that's who you are. Well. Just know that there are a few extra steps in how to delete Search Marquee on Mac. Yep, a little extra work for you, if you will, and, well, you could actually accidentally disable important processes. That's why I recommend just getting an antivirus for you to do the job, you know? All right, but hey, you're committed. All right, so let's continue. The first manual Mac virus removal step is to identify and stop the Mac OS malware processes. For that, open up your finder, Click on Go at the top and choose Utilities. Now from here, you can access the Activity Monitor by double-clicking it. And in this window, you'll have to force quit all suspicious activity. And next step of the Mac virus removal is to open the Finder again. Now open the Go tab, and this time choose Go to Folder. In the drop-down menu, once this window pops up, let's type slash library slash launch agents and click Enter. Here, remove all unwanted launch agents. Now, you're gonna have to do the same steps in application support and launch daemons folders. Just remove everything that doesn't belong there. If you can't find the launch daemons folder, then instead, from the Go tab, click on Computer, then Macintosh HD, or whatever you've named it, and it should be in the library folder. All right, now back to the Finder. Let's open up the same Go drop-down menu and choose Applications. Now let's move all suspicious apps into the trash and go ahead and empty the trash. Once that's done, navigate to the Apple icon, click System Preferences, and find Users and Groups. Find and click Login Items. If you have macOS Ventura, it might be under General Settings now, but once you find it, the process is fairly simple. If there are any recently added suspicious login items, remove them with that minus button. And lastly, you're gonna need to reset your browser settings. You can go back using the timestamps on this video to Safari and Chrome resetting instructions and just follow those same steps. And hey, that's everything on search marquee removal. Mac security is back in business, but how can you make sure this never happens to you again? 
Well, let's go through some of the precautionary steps that you should take. Oh, and by the way, if you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like and sub to the channel for more cybersecurity advice, reviews, and information. All right, anyway, here are the tips to boost your Mac security. First, always, always update your OS and apps. Old versions can have vulnerabilities that Mac OS malware can take advantage of. I also recommend installing a proper antivirus. Now, I already talked about TotalAV for Mac, which is a great option for Mac protection. It's got a super effective real-time protection that blocks malware Mac attacks before they can do any damage but the rest of the precautions actually fall over to you. Cybersecurity tools can only do so much. So don't be clicking on suspicious ads and don't go opening questionable email attachments or shady links on social platforms. Be mindful, that's all I'm saying, you can do it. So anyway, feel free to let me know if you want more on how to tackle any other macOS malware in the comments below. All right, that said, we can all say goodbye to the search marquee virus Mac problem. And well, as for you, I hope to see you in the next one. And if not, well, here's that great box with the best antivirus discounts as a little departure gift for you. Yeah, don't say I never did anything for you. All right, see you in the next one.